Hello friends, welcome back to another weekly vlog. This is going to be a very busy week because it is actually moving week, which is so surreal. I started packing over the weekend and I wanted to share some packing tips for one because I asked on Instagram and got some really great tips. So if you are moving soon, have some really good tips to share as far as packing goes. But today I'm starting off the vlog heading into Atlanta. I'm meeting some girlfriends for breakfast. I was about to say brunch, but I feel like it's still more technically breakfast time. And then we are going dress shopping for one of my very best friends today. So I am so excited. I am not sure what I'll share from the dress shopping experience, but hopefully you can see a little bit. She has a very like boho style. So I'm really excited to see the dress that she picks out. And then after dress shopping, I have some errands at, I need to go to Saks and Nordstrom. Other than that, hopefully I don't get in too much trouble there. Um, if I have time, I want to stop by Serena and Lily because they're having a sale that's ending tomorrow. So when you see this vlog, that sale will be over. But just a couple things I want to see in person for the new house potentially, which y'all will be seeing at some point in this vlog a little bit at least because we're going to be closing on Tuesday and heading over there. So I'll share a couple sneak peeks of the house. But I need to head out, so I will check in with y'all in a bit. Here is a quick look at what I'm wearing today. I need to steam the bottom of this sweater. I actually got it out of a moving box, so I'm kind of <laughs> limited on what I'm wearing this week. I figured I would mostly be in athletic clothes, but this sweater is old from Loft, and then I'm wearing the white Spanx pants. I'm going to wear some boots, and it's pretty chilly out, so I have on some cashmere socks. And then I was trying to decide, I put on these earrings from Kendra Scott, but I'm trying to decide between those or these. These are newer and I haven't worn them yet, obviously. I don't think I can go wrong, really. So I guess the fact that I have these in, I'm just going to leave them in. Josie loves to wear my shoes. <laughs> you got your Uggs on? Yeah. Good job. Are they keeping your feet warm? Happy Tuesday. We are actually about to head out soon to go do our final walkthrough at the house. Josie's still sleeping. I swear she always takes like her longer naps whenever we have to leave and I always have to wake her up from it. <laughs> always works out that way. Um, but yesterday it was really fun. My friend didn't say yes, but she definitely has a top contender. And I'm actually going to go back with her this Sunday. Um, she's going to try a couple more on with like a different group of people. And then I feel like she'll probably make a decision. Um, honestly, she can't go wrong because they all look amazing on her. So I'm excited to see what she picks. And then after that, I just ran like really quick errands. The dress appointment went over a little bit longer than it was supposed to and I just was ready to get home so so I didn't vlog or anything but just ran my quick returns and got home and today actually it's Monday I said Tuesday <laughs> happy Monday I never know what day it is it doesn't honestly feel like Monday but Mondays are typically kind of more days off for me because I do typically work over the weekend since Tim is off he can watch Josie so I can typically get a little bit more done during the weekend. So today I've just been hanging out with Josie and I've actually been downstairs watching Harry Potter because it was on randomly and I was like, just is like a feel good, like takes me back type of movie to watch. So I've just been down there doing some kind of furniture browsing and watching Harry Potter. Although I know I need to be packing, but I feel like I've already made some good progress on that. Um, you can see. My shelves look a little bit different today. I'm just really casual, honestly, because we're just going to do the final walkthrough and I've just been at home. So I'm just wearing this little Spanx set. This is a new color in the Booty Boost leggings. This is actually the first pair that I normally get the seven eighths length, 
but this is longer than the ones I typically get and I really like it. Um, I need to get a couple more that have a little bit of longer length, especially for winter. They just feel nice and compressive. I love them. And then this is a new matching Air Essentials top, but I think this one sold out because it was like released last week and it sold out really quickly. But it's such a pretty color and they'll be bringing it back. So I'll let y'all know when they do, but I'm just gonna throw over, I think a puffer vest over this and some sneakers. So I will hopefully share a few sneak peeks of the house. I don't wanna get like distracted, but We'll be over there, so hopefully y'all can see a little sneak peek of the new house. see my car is jam-packed I'm actually in the drive through at Chick-fil-a and I've been sitting here for a little bit so I was like I guess I'm just gonna pull my camera out and update you guys so I am heading up to the house we don't officially move in until Saturday but we've been having to come up here like meeting people meeting things so we're bringing stuff that I just don't want to pack or things that are fragile that I just want to kind of hand carry for example so I have this massive clothing rack behind me I don't have all my clothes up here yet but they will they will get there I'm currently actually listening to a podcast from the every girl and I just wanted to share it if you have any financial goals for the year it was all about the kind of they're just like chatting I don't know all about the feminist side of finance and I would say there were two or three really good take-home points that I wanted to chat with y'all all right sorry I had to turn my camera off. I'm never gonna be that influencer that will be videoing and driving. I see it all the time and it makes me cringe. I'm like, you're literally recording yourself for one, setting a bad example for others and two, you're distracted driving and you're recording it. Like, I just don't, I just don't understand. Even if you're not touching it, I, you're still like turning it off and turning it on. I'm like, no. So I'm at the house now. Tim is actually on a call downstairs here as well because he's meeting AT&T and just different people like that. But I'm actually here to meet with a painter to give me a quote on a couple things. But what I'm really hoping that he can get done tomorrow is paint my upstairs office. Right now it has a blue accent wall and I, I love the color, but it's just sucking out some of the light. And if I'm gonna be filming in there, I need it kind of as light and bright as possible. So yeah, don't hate me for painting it, even though I know it's my house. It's kind of funny though, because in my current office at our first house, when we moved in, it actually had a navy accent wall. And if you look at my really like first videos on YouTube or my try-ons, you can see it sometimes probably, depending on where my mirror was. But it's just funny that both of them have a blue, just accent wall. And I feel like accent walls, personally, are kind of like going out of trend. It just brightened it up so much more when I covered that wall. And then I'm, I think two years ago, I actually just painted it white. So I'm going to be painting it upstairs white. I think I'm going to go with Snowbound. I really don't, honestly don't have time to worry about it. So I know that's a good color. So I'm just going to go with that type of thing. But what I wanted to mention is the, I'm walking into the living room. It's very rainy today, but I wanted to mention that podcast and I'm also on my phone. So that's why the quality isn't as great, but the podcast really put into, oh, I think he's the painter's here. Okay. So I just met with the painter. I'll show you guys in a minute what I'm going to do in there, but I'm actually in our enormous closet right now. And I'm so excited about it. I, I won't even fill this thing up. Like I'm excited to have room to grow. So this is entirely my side of the closet and I'll show you Tim's in a minute but right now before I move any more clothes in um, one of you on Instagram gave me this tip it was to check the closet for studs and I was worried about that actually because I was hanging up this stuff and it just seemed a little wobbly 
was a little nervous about it because I'm like, these clothes are, get really heavy. Um, luckily, this side is on a ton of studs, but this side isn't on a ton of studs because I went through with this. So I might add just a few reinforcements of these little brackets in studded areas just to be on the safe side because um, I do not want these to come down and tear up the drywall. So that's what I've been doing and I'm unloading my car. I do have big plans in here eventually, but I want to live in the space, figure out what we need from a functional standpoint. And then I would love to do like a dream closet in here. My only complaint with this room, and I'm not really complaining, is I do wish that it had a window on that wall. Most of the houses that I looked at in this neighborhood did, um, but I was just assuming the original owner of this house I think she like really prioritizes the closet because Tim's side is actually, it could have been an optional additional bathroom upstairs, which I could go either way with that. It would definitely be nice to have another bathroom, but I do like that Tim's closet is like his own little space. And from, especially from what he's coming from, because he had very little room in the closet in our house. So it's good that he has his own space. Um, but yeah, so one day I, I could see myself on this end making that wall like a really cool like statement wall with like shoes or bags or who knows. But that's going to be down the road. Um, I just have some other things to do in the meantime and I need to save for the closet. But let me show you how enormous it is. So one thing that's cool is it is an automatic light, which is really nice. So over here is Tim's side. So he has this whole space, which is honestly bigger than our current closet, this little space alone. And then this is entirely my side and it's just crazy how humongous this closet is. I mean, this is like most of my clothes <laughs> it, and it makes it look like I barely have clothes, even though the, my, my closet was completely full at home. Um, so, I mean, I could even put like a desk in here. So much room. So I'm really excited about that. And then here's our bathroom right now. So I did get a quote. We will eventually paint these cabinets and do a little mini refresh in here just to lighten it up and then figure out the mirror situation. So y'all let me know if you have any tips. So over here, I just don't know what to do with the mirrors. So if you have any suggestions for me, I don't know, because I think this is like glued on this mirror. So should I do two mirrors there identical and just have this one a little higher? And then over here, same thing, because the vanity is offset from the center. So I'm like, do I do two mirrors over here? I don't know how this works. So I'm trying to think through that, but let me know if y'all have any suggestions. Oh, and this is the color that I'm going to paint my upstairs office. So I grabbed this. So this is the color of the kitchen island currently. I grabbed this for like the ceiling and the patio. Um, this is the color, not these, of all of the walls in the home. So even in here, everything is this color, Drift of Mist. If you are curious... It's a really nice neutral, but I'm just gonna lighten up my office space with Snowbound. Okay, I know I still need to show y'all upstairs. And at the moment, I've just been unpacking just the few boxes that I brought up of just fragile things that I just felt better bringing myself. So I'm just kind of getting it out of the way. We're not gonna have a TV until I think it's getting delivered on Sunday. Um, but I wanted to get your feedback on a space over here I'm trying to figure out how to maximize it because we really don't have a ton of honestly we have more closet storage in our current house and this one I mean we obviously have more storage but not closet storage in everyday functional spaces this is the only teeny closet on this entire level so I'm really trying to maximize the mudroom area and the entry so I wanted to show you my thoughts and I would love to get your feedback Okay, so for one, I, I'm not a big fan of this wood. It's just glued on, so I'm gonna have that removed. And I really want this visual to obviously be really pretty and impactful. So if what I'm thinking is a piece of art and a little lighting above, potentially, 
Um, let me know if you think I should, I'm obviously going to paint it because I don't want the chalkboard paint, but let me know if you think I should wallpaper it or should I do some sort of, you know, wood feature, you know, shiplap or whatever down here and then wallpaper above or just paint it or just let me know your thoughts there. All right. So I kind of zoomed you back a little bit. So that always makes the space look a little bit better, but it's easier to see everything. So this is our everyday entry. And for one, I am going to turn this into a closet kind of storage space. There's already an outlet here. So I'm thinking I'll put the Dyson here on the wall. And then I'm thinking shelving on the second half, just because I don't want this to be just an open, empty space. So I think shelves would be useful for things like light bulbs and, you know, just all the random household things. And then more just like storage up there just to maximize that space. I know the previous owners had a shoe shelf in here and just a ton of shoes, but I really need somewhere to put my vacuum. And I think that's the perfect spot. So if this has doors, obviously I can't really do anything here and I want this to be pretty. So that's why I'm thinking the piece of art. And then this, I think I just kind of want to do a little simple update to it. So really I'm thinking just switching out the doors to match our kitchen cabinets or maybe even just adding, I think even drawers, pull out drawers would be more functional. I'm going to see if maybe we can even make it a little bit deeper because these just are teeny tiny. And I want to add a little cushion there, baskets up there, maybe switch out the hooks. Not as worried about that, but I think we can totally work with that. And then over here, this door, I'm going to remove it. Don't hate me, but it's just way too heavy. It, it, well, we would never actually use it and it's blocking the light for this room. And it, it's just really heavy. And I think it's honestly making the space feel a little tighter than it truly is. So we'll remove that. And then the pantry, as you can see, we have no shelving in here. So we're going to do just temporary shelving system in here. But let me know. I was originally thinking I wanted to do an L-shaped counter with pull-out drawers and have, you know, food down here and appliances in this area and then food shelving all along the top. But I just don't know if that's necessary. So if you have something like that, let me know if you truly love it. Or I mean, I know it would be nice to have, but, you know, for the money, is do you think it'd be worth that to have additional counter space in here? Or should I just make it full on pantry storage, all of that. Good morning, I am back at the house. Today is Friday. I realize I ran out of time to show you guys what we're doing in here today, but I'm having this space painted and I guess I could call it kind of like my studio. So this is gonna be where I film my YouTube videos. So I'm going to tackle this darker accent wall, brighten things up, I'm going with Snowbound in here. And I'm actually gonna do like the same color for the trim and just kind of change up the finishes of it. So I'm gonna do eggshell on the wall, semi-gloss on the trim. So I'm excited to get this done before we move in. It was nice that he was available and he was like, I'll get it done today. So it's one less thing off my plate. So I have almost loaded up my entire closet and I just wanted to show you guys something because my mind is honestly blown by this. So this closet is massive. I mean, this is Tim's side and this is bigger than our current closet and we shared it. Um, so I am just shocked because everything in this closet right now all fit in our current closet. And I just don't understand. I guess it was so jam packed and the clothes just have much more like room, you know, to breathe. Um, but yeah, my mind's blown. The only thing that wasn't is this section and this section was in my office. And then I think one more section. This, or not even all of that, honestly. Just like this dress and this dress weren't in my current closet. And everything else fit. And I'm just, my mind is just so blown by that. I, I guess it was just so crammed. And that's probably why I didn't use it as much. Because it was hard to like you know, get, just simply pull things out. Whereas now there's just 
so much more space for everything, but how crazy is that? Good morning, y'all. Today is Saturday and it is officially moving day at our house. The movers showed up actually a little like just before eight right on time and got straight to work i hired bellhop i think they are nationwide but two of my atlanta friends in the area used them recently for moves and recommended them and yeah it's been great so far so one thing that was cool is when they get here and all the teams here and they're ready to start they scan a qr code on your phone and that's the start time and then when everything's done they scan that code again so you know exactly what you're paying for which is nice it's just like i don't know like i, I hired housekeepers this week and they were like we we're here four and a half or something hours and i was like it was just four hours um i don't know so it's just nice to know <laughs> That they're tracking their time um but yeah they're wrapping up all the furniture and loading it up it's only like been 20 minutes and there's already like they're they're getting to it which is nice um tim ran to take josie to his parents just so she is out of the way safe gonna get a good nap at their house and play with them and spend some time with them and he picked up some donuts for everyone or like little dunkin donut holes which is funny because I had Dunkin' Donuts yesterday and I never really get Dunkin' Donuts and then we're getting it today and then I actually am going to a Dunkin' Donut brunch tomorrow, but I'll be starting a new vlog, I think, for that. Um, it's really cold, it's like 25 degrees, which here in Georgia we don't, we don't really like the cold, I guess. Um, it's kind of frosty, but thankfully no rain. That would have been honestly horrible. I didn't, I didn't even like think about, I mean, I thought about the rain, but it would have been snowing and we would have had to reschedule. So thankfully that's not the case. Um, but last night was really fun. I don't think I vlogged it, but I have a very short time lapse of it. And I was so sad. I wish I just recorded it regularly because Josie was laughing so hard. So we went up to the new house, we grabbed takeout and we just like ate on the kitchen Island and the house was completely empty. And Josie and I were running around chasing each other and she was having a blast just running around. <laughs> she has so much more space to run around. Um, and it was such a sweet little memory to kind of start this next chapter. Although I will have to recreate that and film it regularly because it was only like seven seconds and you couldn't hear anything. And I was like, oh, that would have been a cute memory. Oh, I have it in my head, but still. I think they stopped to get some McDonald's and we did have a little hiccup because everything didn't fit in the truck but I ordered two trucks and only one came and I know I should have said something sooner but I just I didn't know if they ordered like an extra big truck or if I don't know I know I should have said something sooner but um we're still waiting to figure out what is going to be done about that because there's some, some big stuff left like in the garage like we have a big wood shelf and like our lawnmower and ladders and things like that that need to get moved but it really wasn't a ton of stuff so i know some of it could fit in like my dad's truck also i'm wearing two coats because <laughs> i'm actually gonna zip this one back up it was so cold at the other house it was like in the 20s this morning which i said already but all the doors and stuff were open, so it was just freezing, and I'm just sitting there. I was actually linking um, the house tour video, so if you want to see like our fully furnished house tour, that will be up on my YouTube channel already, and I was just working on getting that going, because tomorrow I have plans, <laughs> and I feel like it's going to be funny trying to get ready and figure that stuff out. I feel like I'm going to pack, control, unpack most of the stuff today, just because my mom's coming over, and we just... We're gonna get it done type of thing. And then Tim's picking up some Chipotle, which we have been on a huge 
Chipotle kick lately. Ever since the TikToks kind of went viral with the dressing, which I didn't know about the dressing because I don't typically order a salad there. But the dressing is so dang good. I dip. I've been getting tacos. I would like the quesadilla, but honestly, I think the quesadilla sucks there because there's not enough cheese, there's not enough meat in there. And then you can't add any other toppings, they're all on the side. So like, I like the corn, it's just on the side. And I'm like, I don't understand the point of it. Like I want it in the quesadilla. So after ordering that a couple times, I switched to tacos, but maybe it's better at a different location. I don't know. Oh, we also already met some neighbors. They um, made some cookies. We were over here last night and they came over and brought some cookies and their phone numbers and introduced themselves, which was really nice. Um, that definitely didn't happen in our current neighborhood. We all just like kept to ourselves in, in that neighborhood, but I have a feeling this one's gonna be completely different. Um, but yeah, I guess I'm gonna start unloading my car because there was a bunch of open stuff. I was like, we can just move that. So almost there. I feel like I have some plans tomorrow and it's gonna be hectic getting ready and all that, but I packed my makeup and things like that so I knew at least where my daily stuff is, kind of like in a luggage or suitcase. So it's definitely a tip if you are moving, I would pack your own personal suitcase, kind of like you're traveling so that you know you have like your essentials. And there's another good tip, just like to save time as much as you can get down to the main level, like as close to the door, obviously they need to walk away, but as much as you can get out to be convenient, like in the garage and things like that, it will just save time for the movers. They'll be more efficient and it will save you money because you're paying them hourly. Um, and I shared a lot of good tips. I got a lot of good tips on Instagram stories. So I'll screenshot those and put them up if you're moving anytime soon and looking for tips. Got some really good tips for y'all. So it feels much later than 6.30. I'm here alone. I have a bit of a story to share about <laughs> how the rest of the move went. Josie is on her way here from her grandparents, but just wanted to share where we're at. Officially moved in. We have one more truck on its way. So I've just been unpacking as much as I possibly can. I had lots of help here. My mom was unpacking a lot of the kitchen today while I was tackling like Josie's room and getting it ready for her because um, I know she's going to be worn out from the day at her grandparents, but I'm interested to see how she sleeps in a new place. She's also has some congestion, so she hasn't been sleeping great as is, so keep my fingers crossed for that one. But I have so much more to share with y'all, some fun projects to share, but I think for now I'm going to end the vlog here, and thank you so much for watching. I would just love to like fall on the couch right now. My body is tired and I didn't really even do a ton of heavy lifting. This is my first time using movers and I can't even tell you how much smoother and less stressful things were. I mean, obviously I was nervous because like just seeing the truck pull away, I was like, I hope everything is nice and tight and secure in there as they're like going up the hill. Um, but it was just so much easier. <laughs> I have so much helping hands. I had five guys. So the process pr went pretty quickly. Um, I will reach out to Bellhop and see if I can get a coupon code for y'all. If I do, I'll put it in the description box. I think they're nationwide. So if you need some movers, maybe that will save you some money. We'll see what they say. Um, but thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.